All right, guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. Today, I'm going to drop a, a spring break list. I have 10 fragrances, but I have them divided up into five designer, five niche. And the whole idea I had, I guess, when I was coming up with this video idea was five designers for like the younger guys, uh, the younger crowd for spring break. And then you have like the five niche for uh, someone a little bit older, maybe the, <laughs> you're a parent of the younger guy, you know, that type of thing. You're on vacation, something like that. I don't know. Uh, we're going to just roll with it and see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But yeah, there's going to be 10, 5 designer, 5 niche. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the 5 designers. And if you're just here for the niche, you can go in the description. I'm going to have everything chaptered out so you can just skip ahead if that's what you're looking for or whatever. I mean, yeah, I have, I've been trying to do all my list stuff and everything or it's like chaptered. So if you do want to like go back and reference something or just skip ahead, you can. All right, number one, this designer fragrance is a 2021 release. And I picked this one for the, maybe, I don't know, college age, uh, college aged and um, high school aged, whatever, uh, depends on what you're into. But the club type of kids, uh, those type of guys, maybe you're on vacation, you're going to hit the club out. Maybe you're at home and you're still going to just go to the club. I don't know. But yeah, this one is more of that option. This, it is victory. And... Decent atomizer. Good scent. I like this one. It's a little bit youthful for me, but I do like it. I wear it, I wore it a couple of times, not a whole lot. Um, but I do like it for a nice vanilla lavender scent with, I think it's lemon in the opening. So you get a little bit of a freshness, but you also have that nice, sweet, smooth uh, vanilla and lavender thing going on. Kind of like Paco Rabanne's Phantom but this one actually smells good while the other one sucks uh so yeah don't buy that get invictus victory you'll smell a lot better um, and people around you will thank you for that number two we have one that streams uh f boy college boy whatever you're trying to get laid I, uh but yeah a lot of guys come into work looking for this fragrance because if they do think it's gonna uh pull them some girlfriends or whatever i don't know but this one, I uh, got the Eau de Toilette. It's from Dior. It's Sauvage. And I can see the appeal. It smells fantastic. Most people love the smell on this one. And for, you know, I guess fragrance enthusiasts, it's a little bit played out. But for people who aren't really enthusiasts, just maybe looking for a couple new fragrances to party up with, you know, during spring break, Sauvage might work. People are going to like the way you smell. Although you run the risk of smelling like an ex-boyfriend, which could be good, could be bad. I don't know. And what you're going to get with this pepper, you're going to get um, going to get some citrus going on. Nice lavender in the dry. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, really fresh. You get like this metallic feel as well. Super fresh fragrance, almost like a shower gel type of thing with like a metallic feel to it. A little bit of spice. But yeah, I like the eau de toilette. It lasts all day. I mean, it smells pretty similar to the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum, but still, I mean, the Eau de Toilette lasts just fine, so why not just get the Eau de Toilette, save a little bit of money, especially if you're not going to wear it a whole lot. All right, number three, maybe uh, you're on a little bit of a budget and you want to spend as much of that budget on drinks or whatever as you can, so you don't want to spend a ton on fragrances. I have a nice one that's cheap aquatic fits like when i think of spring break i think of partying at the lake maybe going to cancun something like that uh, something fun in the sun kind of thing and that rhymes this one's from azaro it is chrome aqua uh not my favorite chrome uh, personally my favorite's probably chrome extreme and then pure then maybe this one but i think it works really well for spring break festivities especially like partying at the lake or i mean maybe you're going you know out of town maybe going to cancun something like that something in a warmer climate got some outdoor sun uh, or fun in the sun type of stuff going on it's a good green aquatic so you're going to get a very nice uh, green aquatic scent very fresh uh, very easy to wear anybody can wear it very affordable i mean you can pull this one for 
I don't know, maybe like 30 bucks, something like that. It's a cheapy, so pretty good option if you're on a budget. All right, number four is going to be my, you want to smell fresh, aquatic, that type of thing, but you're not on that extreme budget. You have a little bit more money to spend on your drinks and your fragrances. This one is also from Pocket Rabanne. It's Invictus Aqua. So, love the scent. Smells really good. You do get a little bit of like that kind of bubblegum type of sweetness going on with it, but in a, but with that uh, aquatic fashion, I guess. It's like it's like a sweet aquatic. Sweet aquatic. That's what I'm going to go with. This one is kind of a sweet aquatic where you have kind of like that little bubblegum type of sweetness, but not played up as much as some of the other options uh, from the line. Uh, the aquatic nature of it, I think, plays really well for uh summertime spring break and you know fun in the sun type of thing especially if you're just trying to be super fresh and um, you want something kind of like mid-range that's going to last on your skin for the day and number five this one is for those who have a little bit more money sure you might be youthful and still partying on spring break or whatever but this is for someone who has a little bit more money to spend and you are going to uh, engage in lake or beach type of activities this is from tom ford it's oud mineral this was the uh discontinued and then brought back um i think it was a little bit reformulated and then brought back now you can get a bottle of this i think from like probably sephora ulta uh, most places you know for a hundred something dollars not too bad uh, where it was more expensive before this one you get a very much um, mineral aquatic type of thing going on get a lot of mineral with this one um, it does kind of stand out a little bit not going to be as easy to pull off for a young guy as some of the other offerings I showed but if that's kind of your thing Oud Mineral is a pretty good warm weather scent from Tom Ford all right, and now for the five niche offerings for spring break. Maybe you are around my age, maybe a little bit older, and uh, your kid is the one <laughs> wearing the other five fragrances to go party. I don't know, but I think there are, these five are going to be pretty good, like little vacation, spring break time vacation fragrances. If you're going to the beach, going to Cancun, something like that. So number one is from the House of Frappon which is a house I just totally fell in love with last year. Discovered it last year and just started buying up what they had. Um, this house has been in... So the house itself hasn't been making fragrances for way too long, but the company was a, or is a luxury cognac company out of France. And I think it was established like in 1270 AD. So been around for quite a while. They got into fragrance making, I wanna say, uh, maybe mid to early 2000s, I think. And price point on these are about 160 so they're not super cheap, but they're super worth it. And this one is Wa Blanc, right here. Nice design on the back. The caps are wood, made of the same wood that they used to make uh, the barrels to age their cognac in. Your nice atomizer smells fantastic what you get with this you get citruses you get a little bit of ginger in there you do have some herbal stuff going on i think you have rosemary maybe another herb in there you do kind of get like the citrus the herb um and you get a little bit of like woods spice vetiver that's all playing in there to just create a really really nice niche warm weather scent and this one i would think is more like a relaxed type of daytime relaxed chill type of fragrance maybe not quite um maybe not quite like chilling by the pool type of thing but um maybe brunch this is a really nice daytime wear um not dressed up but not totally dressed down either really nice option all right and of course all these niche offerings can absolutely be worn by younger guys it's just kind of how i decided to structure up this video the five designers for younger guys five niche for older guys uh, but they're interchangeable i mean older guys to wear the younger guy stuff you know vice versa next fragrance though we have from the house of kieran nyc they are a small indie 
slash niche fragrance house in uh, New York City. Love what they're doing up there. I don't have all their offers yet, but I have most of them. And this one I love for the spring. You have fig, you have cashmere wood, I believe, and you have sandalwood. Three note breakdown, came out I think in 2018. It is 10 a.m. flirt. This one streams um, brunch or just like waking up a little bit late in the hotel, grabbing brunch. Yeah, it does, man. Love the way the fig plays in here. It gives you a little bit of like, almost like a fig leaf green type of thing going on. It's smooth, it's relaxing, it's calming. It's exactly what I, it like sets the mood for a calm, relaxing morning to early afternoon. While you're on vacation, this stuff smells incredible. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Um, can't wait to wear this one probably next week while the kids are on spring break. And Eggy from Nishan A is a 2020 release. Uh, pretty good stuff. You're going to get yuzu. You're going to get uh, mint. I think there's some basil, uh, some violet leaf going on in here. Uh, and yeah, you're going to get kind of a green aquatic feel from it. Yeah, kind of a little bit of a green aquatic feel to me. I mean, sure, you get that mint plane in there a little bit. And yeah, I get a little bit of like, it's kind of weird to describe. Some points of the fragrance, I feel like it's a little bit green aquatic. Some parts a little like aquatic minty or a green mint. I don't know, man. It, it just plays right. I think it works really well for like by the pool or going out on the lake. Maybe going to the beach. I think it plays really well for that fun in the sun option for the niche, you know, I guess, little section of this video. Really dig it quite a bit. You can get these for like, I want to say like $100 or maybe even less from Kingdom Fragrances, which is a killer deal. Really enjoy it a lot. Can't wait to bust that one out as well. Number four on the niche side, number nine total in the video. This is a killer fragrance that I cannot wait to wear. It reminds me of another fragrance, but this is better. It's from Simone Andrioli. It's Malibu Party in the Bay. Right here. You'll have to get this one on... You've got to get it from the Scent Room in Dallas. That's where I would order it from. Uh, definitely order it from the Scent Room in Dallas. I think this one is kind of a European type of fragrance. Like, I don't think it's sold very widely in the United States. But it... I wish it was. That's really good. So, think Creed's, uh, think Creed's Virgin Island Water. Think coconut and rum. That's what you get with this. But you get better performance. I like the scent more. It just smells like a freaking, like, almost like a pina colada, man. This one is partying on the boat. It's, um, you know, maybe like an evening out on the beach, that type of thing. This one says like that nightlife. Uh, and you're trying to be a little bit classy as well, but you still want to get freaking wasted. Yeah. Malibu party by or party in the bay. This one is killer. Love it so much. Definitely go check out the scent room for this bottle. If you're thinking about it, I want to say it's like, I, I think it's under $200. I can't, I can't be for sure because I bought it from somebody on Facebook in one of the groups and cause like I, he had a killer deal for a brand new bottle. So I want to say it's maybe like 190 ish if you get it in the store. All right, finally, number 10 or number five on this niche side of things. This one is going to be what you could wear. I don't know, maybe, maybe like a captain's dinner on the cruise in the Caribbean, if that's what you're doing for spring break, or maybe just like a nice dinner out where you are dressed up, maybe a little bit cool, warm, cool type of evening, that type of thing, dressed up, maybe a, a, a sport coat, you know, something without a tie though, because the ties don't really say, you know, vacation or party very well, but dressed up can, you know, with, you know, got a little extra button on button, that type of thing. Anyway, Aqua de Parma, Colonia Essenza. Right here. So this fragrance I first got from Scentbird. I did that subscription a while back. Not worth the money, guys. Uh, not worth it. Just buy your stuff, your samples from somebody else. But 
I did get this and I really liked it a lot. Got a bottle of it. Atomizer's good. Scent is pretty good, but not for everybody. This is very much a professional's type of scent. So that's why I say a dressed up, evening out type of thing. Maybe even like a patio dinner where you're dressed up. I don't know. I'm just trying to set these different ideas in motion or whatever to try to match the scent. But what you get, you get a whole bunch of different citruses and fruits in there. Can I identify them all? Hell no, I can't because there's so many in there. Uh, you do get some herbal qualities. I think there might be some rosemary. So you get a little bit of like that citrus mixing with the herbaceousness, mixing with like this musk and everything that gives you kind of a little bit of a powdery feel. It smells good. It smells clean. It smells fresh. It smells like you should suit it up because it does have like that... Um, a little bit of like a warm weather luxury type of feel to the scent. All right, guys, so that was my 10 for spring break. Five designers for the young guys, five niche for the older guys, or old guys were the designers and young guys were the niche. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the way I decided I was going to do the video. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know down in the comments what your spring break plans are. Do you have plans? Uh, are you going to Disney World? Let me know and let me know what you're going to be wearing fragrance wise, not clothing wise. And yeah, I think that's about it. Again, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.